So don't be mesmerized by how big this uh, uh, book of hadith is. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes it's just uh, uh, full of stories. The first thing you have to do is prove the authenticity of the hadith that you have in front of you before you, you have the audacity to attribute it to the Imam. And the second thing, you have to look if there's other hadith that contradicts with it or not. And the third thing, which is the most dangerous one, never, never, ever reach a conclusion or build a theory based on some narrations that you read. Is there a problem in reading a hadith? There's no problem. But the problem is in reaching conclusions. The problem is in building theories based on one hadith that you read in a certain book that Allah knows where it came from. This is a problem. The problem, Alam al majlisi said, Brother Alam al majlisi did he finish his Bihar al-Anwar before he died? Or someone else, some of his students finished it. Right? Al-Kafi said, Al-Kafi, did he write a book of hadith or was it a Risala Amaliyya for some people to follow? It wasn't even a book of hadith, it's his views. Yeah. Or Fulan said, Fulan said, but come and prove the book for him first before you, you, you say he said. It's, you can't just say, because this scholar said one, two, three, it's, it's authentic. Who said that? I can write a book and say it's from... Uh, from Imam al-Askari, which they did, yeah, Tafsir al-Askari, for example. Tafsir Imam al-Askari. <laughs> it's not a good example. But I say it's from the, one of the Imams. Uh, prove it. Or well, I say this is book, this book is uh, 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 wahi from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa prove it. So this is the problem. Read a hadith, prove the, but only take what is authentic by going back to scholars and seeing which one is authentic and which one is not. And then don't reach conclusions or build theories. This is something that is very common, especially with, with, by, with, uh, or from our youth. Sometimes you, you, you present a research and you give a conclusion at the end. And then you have someone messaging you and responding with a hadith. You are wrong because the imam said one, two, three. Brother, if you've read the hadith, do you think I didn't read it and I haven't seen the hadith? Right? <laughs> so, they they responded to one hadith. This is the problem. So you can't build a theory or a conclusion based.